Aya. Another another live action whisper. Uh, with the what third day of raid testing, week two, the Thursday. Um, and uh, we only got to test one boss today, which was this worm boy. And uh, it's kind of fun. It's a single target fight. You have to split the raid up into two and sort of walk around in circles. Um, I do a pull here in a second. Uh, just gonna have this kind of going on in the background. So this was the first test that we did uh, with the changes that just came to uh, dashing one point, no mark for death, um, all that kind of stuff. The changes mostly handle uh, Mythic Plus, so eh, not really, not really too much going on there. Haven't tested Mythic Plus yet, but for Raid itself, our damage profile is looking really good. You see that my Burst is, is doing pretty good on the bottom there. Um, the sustained damage is a little bit low, but Exsanguinate is kind of strong. It's anywhere from like 4% to 6%, maybe 7% if you play it perfectly. Um, which is perfectly fine. So, I don't know. I think that in general, Assassination's looking in a really good spot. Obviously, tuning numbers are still a little bit all over the place. Um, I was playing the four piece, the new four piece bonus. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's still bad. 200% was not enough. Uh, if you guys read the article on Wowhead, I suggested 500%. Uh, that was a conservative estimate. They gave us 230%. Uh, and 230% is, is no good. It's no good. It's still doing about 1%, 1.2% of my damage on single target uh, on, on a test like this. So it's not, it's not great. Uh, in AoE, it's definitely closer to like 3%, uh, maybe 3.5%. So, it's looking better. Um, none of the bugs with the two-piece got fixed, so uh, Exsanguinate still doesn't count for the two-piece bonuses. Um, the blindside procs are still giving 50. Uh, Vicious Venoms isn't accounted for. All of that stuff. All those bugs that I, I talked about in that article. If you want to read that article, it's on Wowhead. You can go look for it. I'll probably link it in the description as well. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to just hop back into the game. Basically, you just have to dodge a bunch of stuff here. Lava waves. All that kind of stuff. It's Magmarax trash, but but big. So uh, hopping back into the game here, I'm just going to quickly talk about the changes and how it impacts us. And then jump off and die. So uh, definitely intended there. The fun thing to notice is uh, you don't actually need to take Exsanguinate or Caustic Spatter anymore, but Internal Bleeding is um, pretty good. It's not the most impressive thing. It's like 2%, 2.5% maybe. Uh, Exsanguinate is definitely stronger. It's like, it's like closer to 5 uh, and I, there's a lot of choice to have, to have, uh, with regards to all of the talents, uh, in basically every situation. So, for example, uh, you can take Twist the Knife, but you can put this point wherever you want. Anywhere you want. You can take Arterial, you can take this point out, put it wherever you want. If you want to take Internal Bleeding instead of Venom Rush, sure. Uh, you can move this point over, you can take Doomblade and then take the point out and then go into Bone Spike or Sepsis. You can take this point out and go Master Assassin if you're playing Shadow Dance like this, right? And you can take Master Assassin, this works together, so that's fine. Still take Venom Rush here, you can still take Internal Bleeding, you can still take Twist the Knife, you can still take Arterial or Tw Tiny Toxic. There's plenty of options. Um, and the same thing is true for AoE. So if I really quickly just make an AoE setup, like a, a, a poison heavy setup, let's say, right? If I'm doing a poison heavy setup, I'm taking uh, Caustic Spatter, and then I'm probably playing something like this, and then going going like this. And then I'll, now I still have that same option. I can take Shrouded, Indiscriminate Carnage. I can drop Dashing and take Arterial. 
Um, I can drop uh, Ixang if I don't want it, right? If I don't think that Ixang is going to be good on a poison build, I can drop that and take four capstones. I can still take Shrouded here, move this over. There's plenty of things for me to move around and play around with. Um, something like this is possible. I can do the same thing on the other side, right? So I can go down this way and then go into something more bleed based. So I can I can grab Iron Wire here, get rid of this, go twist the knife uh, because my Envenom up time is lower. I could even go here, drop this, and then go Bone Spike as well. All of the stuff I talked about in the last video is still completely valid. Um, and the choice here is, is really, really strong. So I, I have a bunch of options for where I'm going to put those one and two points. I can go down the left, I can go down the right. In raids, you're kind of never going this way. I tried Bone Spike for a little bit, like going like this, and then, um, having, uh, this thing going on. So I was, I was trying something like this. Uh... And this was fine, but Bone Spike wasn't too impressive. Shrouded here was good. Um, and then I also put some points into Arterial. Arterial is not great, but it's fine. But really, it's just going to be a sim question for which one of those things is, is legit. Um, but yeah. I'm excited. Everything looks good. A little bit of tuning still needed. Uh, to kind of nail down where Exsanguinate's going to fit, where Caustic's going to uh, fit, some of the tuning on the right side, tier set, right? All those little tiny things that, like, could need a buff or a nerf here or there. Um, but really happy. Really happy with how that's looking. I don't know. Twitch? Twitch chat? Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. Uh, oh, Elusiveness. I was playing Elusiveness in Raid, uh, and it's crazy. With two charges of Faint and the Evasion. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Uh, I was able to basically solo soak with a tank and a healer and another DPS for the group soaks. That's like split damage. It was hurting, but it wasn't bad. And then afterwards, I could evasion and faint again to, like, reduce a bunch of other damage that was, like, single-targeted. So, uh, Elusiveness is looking really, really good. Oh, AoE Blind and Blackjack. Yeah, so that's the other funny thing. Uh, AoE Blinds and Blackjack here. Blackjack is a 30% reduced damage and healing for six seconds after Blind's effect on them ends. So if you use AoE Blind on all nearby enemies, uh, this is just a 30% AoE damage reduction, um, which is really, really good. It's really, really, really good. <laughs> Uh, and on top of that, you can play a Trophic, which, like, stacks, so it'd be another 3.6%. So this would be, like, 30, 32%. You could play Iron Wire, and you could basically, if you silence Blind and you have a Trophic, it's like a 45% reduction, which is insane. You could play Numbing as well. Numbing in Mythic Plus is also ridiculous. It's really slept on for just tank mitigation. 18% attack speed slow is crazy. Like... For all of the attack speed slows in the game, this is basically just an AoE Curse of Tongues. Pretty good. Did Real say anything about changing the non-bleed damage part of Sudden Demise? No, hasn't said anything. I mean, that's just a tuning question at the end of the day. I think Sudden Demise is kind of fine, but it's mostly reliant on the 10% bleed damage. If they make it so that it's instead of 200% exceeding, it's 150 or 120, I'd be happy with that, but I don't think Sudden Demise necessarily needs it. It's basically just a passive bleed damage increase at this point. Um, okay, anyways. That's all I have. Twitch, say say hi or bye to YouTube. And then, uh, maybe we do some M plus testing? Is, is there a tank around? It's power round for some M plus testing? It's gonna be great. Anyways, bye bye. Have a good time. 
I did the assassinations cracked. It's really fucking good. Uh, that's all I have to say. Okay, bye. Making lunch. Okay, cool. M, pl M plus video soon, maybe, hopefully.